Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we shall play Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's going to be amazing as you probably already know because all the other episodes have been amazing, so this one should be equally as amazing. Take a second before we begin to hit the like button, and we'll just get on to the gameplay video. We'll just go straight straight to the gameplay. That's what you're here for. Those are the goods. That's the tasty part of the cinnamon roll. So let's let's just dive in. Okay. Here we go. Nothing in these corners. We're coming for you, Cloud. More antechambers. Why are there so many antechambers? Finally. <laughs> Don't stop. Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am. <laughs> yes, yes I am. Here I come, baby. <laughs> 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 Hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners Exactly! Too. What the? Cloud, you're close! <laughs> what is happening? Is he just changing in front of him? What? Wait a minute. So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Cloud just changed in front of everybody, not even behind a partition. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Get him, Tifa. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Get him, Aerith! It was the director of public security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. <laughs> It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? When they're faced with certain death, when they think they've already won, when they've lost their minds. Oh. I guess we say nothing. That's the first time dialogue oh, option we've I'm had. Sorry. Time's up. The answer lies in the sewers. <laughs> oh, that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> I hate it! Oh, that laugh. Buffs and debuffs. Certain magic has the ability to strengthen characters or weaken enemies. For example, haste increases the speed at which your ATB charges fill. 
Oh, haste increases the speed at which your ATP charges fill, while slow decreases the frequency an enemy can use special skills. Barrier reduces physical. Nope, nope, that's the end of that. Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President, I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000. <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Chapter 10, Rough Waters. Look how pretty the materia looks in her gloves. Where in the In the sewers, Cloud? Come on, we've been through this. Yeah, it's Damn stinky it, down there. It's stinky. Aerith. Uh, uh, Cloud. Uh. We have to get to Sector 7. Yeah. Uh. Uh. That bastard! <gasps> oh no. That doesn't sound good, does it? Oh, suddenly I'm very glad I upgraded their materia. Suddenly I'm very glad. Oh, it's so creepy. Horns filled with Mako. Okay. You bet! Bring it on! It's on you. I'm coming! So, focus each horn. Okay. Don't you dare! Okay, we need to get an assess going. Uh, but in the meantime... Let's use a focus strike on that right horn. On cloud, build that ETV, please. Oh, this great. one's for okay. you. I love how she says that. This one's for you. She has kind of almost like a, and by she I mean me, because that's wild. She has, she almost like throws her O at the end there too. Okay, weak to fire. Resistant to Blizzard. A giant beast that Don Corneo keeps in the sewers. Much more intelligent than it appears. It uses the surrounding environment to its advantage and attacks with sewer water. Gross. Magic attacks have only a slight effect on its stagger gauge and ice attacks have no effect at all. Cool. <laughs> Ow! Taking over. <laughs> Okay, I don't know necessarily if if Aerith is going to be the right pick here because we have her built. We have her built right now with ice. But 
what can she do? Summon a fairy. All right. Okay. Focus thrust on that right horn. It's getting pressured. Take the lead. I'll take care of them. Yeah, I it's fell for it again. I, I gotta get a. Uh, um, cloud will do. I want to save Cloud's ATB so he can unleash a massive fire when he's stunned. So let's get Tifa going on a stagger. Let's get unbridled strength going here. And let's get focus strike on the right horn. Okay, can Aerith cure Tifa? Why can't we use Cura? Do we have the wrong heal? Uh, I think someone else has that one. Yeah. Okay, Tifa can use Chakra though. Cloud needs to be using some of his ATB. Like, I get it, but also just use it. Watch yourself. My huh. turn. Here goes. You can do it. Hang back. Oh, can we use a barrier on Aerith before she's about to get pounced? Keep it together. So, well. My turn. Oh, he's licking her. Gross. Don't. Get a prey going for the whole team. All set. There what, Tifa? There what? This is a very tough battle. Okay, let's get a chakra. I'll show you what I can do. Come on. You've got this. Let's do this. It's on you. Okay, let's go. It's so hard to stagger. Uh, let's go with an unbridled strength. Okay, walk like and that was unfortunate. Now we gotta use the chakra to heal up. Gotta be strong. Provoke? What are you using a provoke for? What can Aerith do that's helpful? He's almost staggered. It's so close. Okay, let's use Unbridled Strength once more. And then hopefully one more focus strike will get him. He's so close! Yes! Okay. Limit break. Tifa, yeah. Go for it. Tifa, limit break on the right horn. Meanwhile, Cloud come in here with Fira on that same right horn. Oh, no! I used fire on him. Oh, what a waste. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead with 
chakra. I need an Aerith limit break real bad. But we using the spells, they're just not helpful right now. Can Cloud use a barrier? Yes. Okay, cast barrier on Aerith. Switch to Aerith. Bring I'm on Cloud. I got it. I'm coming. <laughs> okay. Okay. And he's not gonna pounce when he gets down this time. Great. Okay. Don't summon Shiva. We're not you doing do that. Okay. You need to focus, Brianna. What are we doing here? What can you do that's helpful? We can cure Tifa. Then Tifa can summon, cannot summon, because insufficient ATB. Tifa can use unbridled strength. And now Cloud can summon Ifrit. Okay, okay, here we go. Have fun. Have fun. Hopefully we can get something good out of this. strike his stagger is we're just gonna skip that sorry but you handle it take it over all right that's fine oh, yeah we all need to heal up so you need to build your prey a lot faster Aerith. okay Ouch, ouch is what that means. Okay, Tifa, please quickly heal Aerith. Oh, we survived it. Okay, cure on Aerith. Oh, that really sucked. That really did suck. We gotta get off Aerith, because he's targeting her too much. Come on, Ifrit. Be helpful here. Oh, please. Yes, we got him. Okay. Woo, we got him. We got him. Oh, we got him. All right. Woo. That made me nervous. I didn't think we were going to defeat him, but we did it. Oh. And he's so staggered and dead he falls through a wall there it goes he's like i don't get paid enough for this nonsense nice here, or? It was probably corneo's pet and we were dinner <sighs> hey you don't believe that crazy story of his do you Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. It's Corneo that. I just had to pause this cutscene because this is really important cutscene, but I cannot focus on it after what we just heard. Please let me explain 
why Aerith makes that sound. She is imitating Corneo's laugh. So she does the <laughs> because Corneo's laugh is like a horse whinny evil style. And while Corneo's is supposed to be creepy and gets inside your ear and down your spine with a chill, Aerith's is not. She's she's imitating him, but she's not supposed to be very good at it. So imagine, just imagine being a fledgling voice actor, not a ton of experience with creatures, villains, anything, and they tell you, we need you to imitate this laugh and be bad at it and do it in Aerith's voice. My friends, when I tell you we recorded that line so many times, We did so many times. We also did so many different versions. So yeah, we also tried in Japanese. He kind of has like a, what is it? Hohi. So when we're recording these lines, we also have to have to reference what the Japanese voice actors do. But we can't do, we, I couldn't copy her because we're, we went different for the English so it was so hard. It was so hard. We did so many different versions over and over and over again and over the course of a long time as well. How, how is it for you all to play it and be like, what the heck just sound did she make? And why was she doing it at that exact moment, right? It's because... Cloud says something like, it's Corneo's pet. And so Aerith is laughing like, that's Corneo's pet, but we defeated it. Ha ha ha. So that's, that's where that came from. So that's why Aerith does a weird horse laugh at that moment. You're welcome. And hopefully that clears some things up for you. And now... Let us get back to this very intense, important cutscene. Kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what, right? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Uh, Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche saying, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Gross. Ooh, take. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Cue music. Take. I'm so excited for this part of the game. I'm hoping to get some amazing girl power Tifa Aerith scenes. Oh, we're, we're gonna die. Okay. Hmm. Yes, so this leaves us in a difficult position, does it not? Hmm. Hey, don't overdo it. Here goes. This one's for you. <sighs> no big deal. Don't jump on me. Don't you do it. Okay, Tifa will use a potion on Cloud, but it's not going to be a high potion. I think we're almost great. done. Cloud is going to assess this enemy because we haven't yet, which is great. Get him. Uh, weak to fire, awesome. Aquatic creatures, intelligent enough to have created their own language, defend their territory with harpoons. Fire or ice spells rapidly fill their stagger gauge while physical attacks have little effect on them. 
Great. Then we're just going to use MP to cure. Save our potions. Great. Awesome. And we will cure Tifa as well. Hopefully we'll find a bench somewhere around here. Because I need it. I need my good friend bench. Oh, what happened to changing Aerith to the leader in battle settings? Sweet. Anything fun here? Ooh, boxes. Smash. Ooh, I recovered MP. Sweet. I needed that. What's down here? Anything? No. Okay. Ooh, take two high potions. Nice. Look at these dirty, gross sewers. What, what, what? What do you do? Smash. Okay, nothing over here. So, I guess we're gonna... Pull the lever, crunk. Correct lever. Ugh, it reeks down here. Sure does. Well, the undercity isn't exactly the prettiest place. And take. That, so. Gorgeous purple take. Feathered gloves. Is that for Tifa? It is! We haven't even used her focus strike that much. Ooh, so pretty though. Oh my gosh. Star Shower, unleash a flurry of powerful strikes, increases strength of next command executed. That's awesome. That's awesome. But we have to get proficient in focus strike first before we move on. Okay, well, good to know we have it. Good to have, but wait a minute. Is this the same? Yes, okay. So this is the same area. Now, why would we need to put it back up is the question. I don't think we do. <gasps> Bench! Dearest friend, Bench. Always supports me exactly right. Okay. Buy the oppressed. Sounds depressing, but we'll buy it. Anything else? No, 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 cause we're broke, we're broke, we're super, super broke. Okay. Now what? Moving on. Deeper, deeper into the sewers. Which way are we supposed to go here? Let's see what's down this lane. Anything exciting? No? Okay. This looks like a Good battle up. arena. Comparing Ooh, Aerith's our leader! <laughs> um, use that focus strike, Tifa. We want to make sure that we... Mm, well, go. hey. First strike materia improved! Sweet! Even though... We didn't get to use Focus Strike. That's okay. Just a few sewer rats. Get back. I can fight too. And a crab. Scissor claw. Hey. Tifa. Focus Strike. One more Weapon ability learned. Sweet. 
Neef is now level 21. All right. Sweet. Okay. So let's say in theory we don't upgrade you because we need to upgrade our feathered gloves and hopefully we can give them a few more materia slots. Look at all those beautiful cores. Uh, new materia slot, sweet. Although that only, I think, links one of the existing materia slots. So it's not as helpful as I would like it to be, but that's all right. Well, I guess we have four materia, but no linked materia, which is fine. Uh, okay, uh, damage reduction while guarding, I like, because I'm apparently pretty good at guarding now, actually. But I also like stagger siphon quite a bit. Attack damage, 5% boost. Aerial attack, ATB charge rate. Yes. Because that probably is good for her, even if she's not active. Rear assault. Ooh, so tough. 12, 8, 10. Okay, let's look at the 12s first. Let's look at attack power. We'll get one. Magic attack power, we'll get one. 19 left. So we can get one of these and one of these. I think attack damage, 5% boost. And probably speed plus seven. Or physical damage reduction on guarding. Let's go with guarding. Decisions are hard. Speed it is! Okay, perfect. So now we will switch her to what press the wrong button. I pressed it, the wrong button. Press the wrong button. Yes, I did. And let's get those equipped on her. Reslot the materia, but we'll be missing a few. And we don't need synergy in there because it's not linked. So let's put instead something that we want to level up, like maybe luck. Luck, first strike chakra, wind, auto cure, luck up. We need two lucks. Mm, sure. Let's make Tifa the luckiest gal in the galaxy. I don't know. Cool. Moving on. What do we have here? Which way are we supposed to go? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I thought we were going to have another battle in here. Boxes! The door is locked! Of course it is. So off backwards we go. Into this other room with the safe. And what do we have here? Uh, two paths diverge in a yellow wood. It's really dark. I'm sure we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, Cloud. Assuming Corneo was telling us the truth, what do you think Shinra's really up to? I mean, they've got to have an endgame. But I can't imagine what it is. Destroying a whole chunk of the city just to get back at us doesn't make any kind of sense. Yeah. I can't imagine any way they could profit from it. It's gonna cost them a fortune to rebuild. Corneo's lying. He's gotta be. Guys like him do it all the time out of habit. 
Well, that's not incorrect, Tifa. Guys like him do do it all the time out of habit. Why are you forcing me to look at this thing? Because it has light? Is there a bench in here? There's not. Cloud? That's a power generator, all right. Hello? Just want to smash the boxes? Wow, talk about ancient. It's an antique. Older than the Mako reactors, even. It'll be a miracle if it still works. Smash! Nailed it. Okay, I feel better. Now we can do this thing. Okay, the generator has been turned on, but we've been locked inside this room. Creepy. Hey, would you look at that? Stamp! And let there be light. Okay, so we came that way. We didn't see any glowing treasure chests. Let's come this way and see anything over there. Over there. Don't think so. Any what? There's more stuff. Okay. What about this? What happens if we press this? More purple fun? Um, what's down here? Aha! I knew it! Take! did that the question is could we have done that on the other side we have to find out bring it on oh that's yeah. some crap that's it. can you take over for me i got it i got your number weak to blizzard that doesn't surprise me Not bad. All right, Aerith leveled up. Sweet. Okay. Well, that's curious. Oh, there is one. Okay, cool. And what happens if we do this? Let's find out. <gasps> Something is down there. What is it? A key. A key? A key to the sewers. Does that mean we can go back to that weird Don Corneo gate? I mean, we're gonna find out. Ooh. Oh no, that's how we continue on through here, which is not the same as the Don Corneo gate. Okay. Okay, you're running, but I can't run and keep catch up with you. Wait a minute, I know this place. Sector 7 should be just on the other side of this waterway. So this is where Sector 6 ends. And where Sector 7 begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. That'd be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. See if we can't use those gates to clear a path. We can do this. We'll figure it out. Sounds like it's yeah, puzzle time. For sure. Puzzle time. Okay. So, oh, we've got some baddies over there. Let's just take them out. This won't take long. Go on. That's that. Keep eyes open. Take it. Would kill for 
for a shower. Oh, stinky Tifa. Stinky, stinky Tifa. Uh, we need a little bit of curing. That'll be alright, though. So, that, here we have, again, a locked gate with this with this icon. I have to wonder, since there was another one of these earlier in the game, I have to wonder if this is a hard mode thing or new game plus thing. I mean, we haven't encountered any sort of, like, keys to open it or anything like that. Which is, to me, a bummer. Okay, so if we came down here, what would we find? No, 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 just go down. What would we find down here? Okay, what is this? Okay, that drains the water from here, which is great. But why? Why is it great? Some battles to be had. Wonderful. No problem this with that. Take a long. Come on. Whatever. I'm trying, but. Keith is the only one not sleeping on the job. And I can't stay away. Now we're all sleeping. This is not good. Good morning, guys. Okay, we need to not get sleep. Get him! Okay, now we can use prey. Tifa, can you star shower? But there was no Nothing need for it. it. So, oh well. Okay, so that was that. I guess we can go through here and do the same thing. If this is what you want, go on! Bring it. Sorry. Maybe <laughs> I'm a little bit more tired than I thought I was. Uh, focus strike. Here we go. Okay, now we can go for the star shower. Oh my, so many bright colors. Oh my. Nice. Chakra again. Let's do this one. Great. Let's go ahead and use a blizzard on our friend who's weak to blizzards. Great. It's hard to manage three characters. It 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 feels like it's become more difficult as you're trying. First of all, Tifa, with all her ATB boosts that she's got going on gains ATB so quickly, I can barely have any time to spend it. And you you get to a certain point where you wanna be really precise with, with each character's strengths and weaknesses, but the more characters you add, the harder it gets. It's really interesting. Uh, okay. Where are we at? I have a feeling that this puzzle is going to frustrate me as I get farther and farther into it. And it starts getting later and later. I feel like I'm already lost. It says this is where we're supposed to go. Can't cross that. Ugh, ugh, a materia! Take. This 
smash. And this is where we started. Is it not? I feel like that's... Wait. What? Oh, it's telling me to open this thing? Okay. Alright. I appreciate that help, truthfully. But that just closes it? And what does that do for us? Now we cross it. How did I know that we crossed it? That's weird. Did she say that? Huh. Okay. We come down here. Smash the boxes, of course. Accents are getting weird. It's a, it's a little too late into the stream for this. Get back. Oh, kill Get some Sahagans. Yikes, Tifa. Use a little prey. We'll make it quick. Go on. Nice. Ooh, I'm. Oh no, I don't have the ATB. Never mind. He's gonna die. I was hoping to use Soul Drain on a staggered opponent, but look at these. These weird pontoon platforms. I cannot climb over them. Really, game? That's our obstacle? With all of the things that we've done in this game, all the leaps and bounds and heights that Cloud has jumped and we can't get over these pontoon platforms? Golly. Really now. Oh, luckily, they're floating on the water. Go first, okay? Careful now. That water's dangerous. Damn it. I can't stop thinking about what Corneo said. Oh, I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But... But what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. Surprisingly <sighs> perceptive, Tifa. <sighs> okay, Aerith, your turn. On my way. Here we go. <laughs> this is taking forever. This is taking forever, Aerith. Come on. Oh. And down they go. Thanks, you saved me. <laughs> Least I could do. Hear that, Cloud? <laughs> Come on. Oh, classic Aerith. Tifa saved me. Where were you? And up the ladder we go. Okay, through this way, I'm guessing. Focus. Still thinking about the plate? 
Yeah. The future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar. Decorations. Coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, they're so I'll cute. Stuff. <laughs> He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? <laughs> Nothing. Cloud will carry all our stuff. No way! Come on, Tifa! Cloud! Hold on tight! On three, okay? One, two, three! Sorry about that. No need to be. That scene feels so oddly placed. Why couldn't we just enjoy that cute moment between Aerith and Tifa? Why do we have to, to fall to our deaths twice in a row? That's so odd to me. Okay, I'm guessing we're out of this portion, which is good. I'll say about voicing those um, balance areas and some of the fall areas and the, you know, the, the efforts to like have Cloud grab your staff and then lift him up. It's very precise because it has to fit exactly right for how they've designed it. So I'll say that it's, it's very difficult to get it just right as far as timing, level of volume, level of effort. Um, all of that is just really, really technically very difficult. And at the end, you do your best and you hope it sounds good. <laughs> you hope that they can take whatever raw material you've just given them and turn it into magic. And I will say they've done a good job of that in this game. <gasps> Bench! Hi, friend. Let me get a potion or two first. Anything on sale? Nothing? Not even any music? What nonsense is that? Gonna sit on my good pal bench. Ah. Feels good. Settle in on bench. And right there is where we have to end today's episode. Thank you so, so much for watching. What does it mean to me that you watch my videos? It means everything to me. I have had such a gift in being able to voice Aerith in this game, but also it's such a gift that I get to replay it and, and watch and share these moments with you. So the fact that you're just here watching right now is um, just the best thing that I could ever possibly imagine. I am so grateful for you. So. I really mean it when I say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed being on this journey with me. Leave a comment down below to tell me your favorite part because I love interacting with you all. And to be honest, this game is worth the discussion. So remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. Okay, that's all. I love you all. Bye!